Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris HFM. This is another episode of Rebuilding the Castle with Berkhamsted FC. Now, since you were last with me, obviously we lost them two games, Aylesbury United and Guiseley. We then lost to Biggles Wade, 3-2 in the league, and I thought we were going to start hitting a bit of a slump and start conceding goals left, right and centre. I mean, we did, but we managed to sort of sneak through. We beat Accrington Stanley in the first round of the FA Cup on penalties. It took us all the way to penalties to get there, but we did it. As you can see, we only had we had Sam Dolan miss, Tommy Oakley miss, but they had three players that missed, and that put us into the first round proper of the FA Cup. Louis Potter obviously got an 8.8. .8. He was outstanding in that game. We then went extra time and beat Hendon 2-1 in the third round of the League Cup, so we're in the quarterfinal of that now as well. Then in the league, 2-1 against Welling Garden, 2-0 against Dunstable, 3-0 against Kempston. Now, Kempston... It looks like we're doing okay, but we are. St these was these weren't easy games. We still were. We let a lot of chances. They wasted a lot of chances, and it sort of just went a little bit pear shaped for us. But we managed to get the goals in the later stages of the games, or the later stages of the half. Sorry, to get us there. And also, Richard Bentley. I think it's from here. Is it from here? Yeah, it's from here. Look, Well in Golden City. He scored a brace. Dunstable scored a brace. Kempston scored a brace. So I'm hoping that that is going to keep evolving and getting better. As you can see, I'm going to bring you back today for Yaxley in the league. Just because I felt like doing that. And also because it's the 30th of December. Now we know that the transfer window opens on the 1st of January. And we could lose four of our big players. Which would make the second half of the season not look like this. So, obviously, there's one, two, three, four, four and a half months left of the seat of the football season. Now, we could go up, we could still finish playoffs, we could possibly drop right out of it, but we need to get on. But we have got Torquay United away in a 10 hour round trip down to Devon in the English Riviera for the second round of the FA Cup. Now, if we can get through that, then we could get one of the big boys potentially in the next round. So, we have got something to sort of hopeful but it's a slim hope because obviously Torquay United aren't a bad team and they're fully established in the National League so I mean yeah I can hear what you're saying we beat Accrington and Stanley but I don't know so I think I, I, I'd sooner play Accrington and Stanley at Accrington than play Torquay at Plainmore I don't know why I just think it's just one of them things but, oh, sorry, got an itch. But, this is the team for today against Yaxley away. Potter in goal, Kelly at right back, Oakley and Bonner in the centre, Cleaver left back, Doolan, Green and Cooper in the centre, Bentley on the left, Tebble on the right and Bernie up front. But yeah, like I was saying, hopefully Richard Bentley, oh he's not fully fit, that's no good, I didn't notice that. Uh, Richard Bentley will start on the bench then, Chamberlain will start, Green isn't fully fit either, we'll take Green out and we'll put in Kirkpatrick, he seems to be quite reliable to drop in every now and again, 6 eight, he's not bad, he's only got one goal this season but it's not too bad, Varney's there on his 19 and obviously we've got Bentley to come off the bench if need be in this game, really I'd, or ideally I'd like him to stay fit enough for the Torquay game with the form that he's in. So hopefully, all goes well, we'll be okay. And it will all happen as and when. And I've just done the first five minutes of this episode with the microphone half a mile away from me. So that's always a good start, Chris. Hopefully I was talking loud enough for you to catch the starting of that. Anyway, here we go then. Eight minutes in, nothing to report back as of yet. I mean, Yexley... Well, they're mid-table 11th. I mean, it's a game, really, I should think we would be winning. But we've all seen stranger things happen in the Football League. We'll shout out some encouragement. Get the lads going a little bit more. I mean, every game, my assistant manager comes back with just false crap to do in these matches. And none of it works. So, maybe I'll look at getting rid of him at the end of the season. Because he's getting on my nerves, in all fairness. And here we go, Chamberlain now brings it forward. He's got two men coming across. That's a great ball in. Tebble should have done a little bit better there. Maybe 
plotted that right into the bottom corner instead of just tapping it into the keeper's arms. Half time nil nil then. I hope this isn't another camera curse. It's doing my nutting at the minute, that is. And Chamberlain long throw in, comes back out. It's a good sliding tackle there. Bonner picks it up. It's a penalty ref. No, not, not going to give that. Well, mate, you didn't even touch the ball. There we go. Tebble wins it back for us then. Kelly now plays it forward. Vernie's never going to make that keeper volleys it away. Cooper now. Kit Patrick, great ball over the top. That's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper there. But what a ball that was. Doolan now. Corner comes in. It's headed away and we're a little bit stretched at the back. From our corner, that's a fantastic bit of defending from Andrew Bonner there. And again, could be a player that we lose in the next couple of weeks or the next, over the next month at least in this transfer window. Tebble now brings it forward again, plays it out into Cooper. Kit Patrick plays it wide to Chamberlain. Cooper picks it up. Can Patrick. Great ball over the top. Headed down. Vernie has a go and it's just past the post. And I'll tell you what, that was absolutely scintillating play from Berkhampstead. I'm going to make a sub now. I think I'm going to get Bennett on. We'll swap them two over and we will get Richard Bennett on. Tommy Oakley's also struggling, so we'll bring Martin Leach on in his place. Martin Leach, I didn't realise, he's on a youth contract, so he can't go anywhere for a couple of years. Oh, oh Richard Bennett is trying with his head that time. Goalkeeper kicks it long, but we should have enough about us to control that, and we do. Bentley brings it forward. It's a poor ball in by him, really. McLeod now taking our players on. Uh, McLeod again whips it across. It's going to be curse of the camera. I know it. I know it. I knew it. Every time. So we've got 10 minutes to go. I mean, I've got to go for it, I now? This is just it's getting on my nerves, to be fair. I don't get why it just... Every time it's on, it's like the computer knows. Oh, I'm on camera, I'll make you lose. Ha! <laughs> it's basically what it does. I mean, I don't know why I'm going to change some of this, because they... They're not exactly the type of players that you can do that with. Let's see if that works. We've got 10 minutes. We already demanded more. Bonner whips the corner across, and it's a header at the back post that Verney should be finishing. It's just no good. We're going to lose this game now to Yexley, who are mid-table. They're going to move up to ninth, and again, the curse of the camera strikes. Well, welcome back everyone. Just thought I'd let you know that this is the team that we're going to go with. And also, if any of you watched my series last season, i done one with Torquay. So this is a little bit of a Chris HFM rival game. But I think Torquay are going to get the better of us. We haven't, our team isn't exactly fully fit. They're all going to be red with about 50 minutes in. But the team I'm going with today is Potter in goal. Kelly and Cleaver at fullback, Bonner and Lynch at centre backs, Doolan as the holding midfielder, Green and Kirkpatrick in the centre, Bentley, Tebble and Verney up front. Now, obviously I've got a few fitness issues and stuff like Oakley's on the bench, Matt Cooper's on the bench. They normally would start, but I need someone to be fit for the next game we play. And I mean, if we can get through this with this team, foot half fit, we deserve the third round of the FA Cup against the big boys. But without further ado, we'll get into it. A lot of people are going to be struggling with fitness during this game, so... We are huge underdogs, so go out there and just play. Here we go then. Torquay five minutes in, still nil nil. I mean, I'd probably, I don't know, it's, it's a hard one to judge. I mean, Torquay are already on us. I don't know why, oh, it's because it's league table, so you've got the match stats twice on the screen. Andrews whips it across, it's a great clearance by Bonner. 
Bentley's got to get out quickly to that. Hall now picks it up. Randall out to Kirk. It's a great ball into Nielsen, and we are 1-0 down after 18 minutes to Torquay United in the FA Cup second round. I mean, I can't really... I mean, look, they're already telling me to sub someone off after 25 minutes. He's not even injured. He's just knackered already. Too much running. Maybe I should have gone three at the back for this. It's going to oh, It's just flicked over the bar, but the intense there... I'm going to ignore it. We'll see if we can get him through to at least half time. Bonner made a fantastic block a minute ago and then a great header. I mean, if you look at it, we haven't even had a shot on goal yet. 1 0. I mean, we haven't had a shot on goal and it's 1 0. It's not bad. I mean, it's really not bad. We'll start the second half. I understand Bonner's going to be wasting away, but now look, Bentley's wasting away. Shane Kelly wasting away. Tebbles wasting away. Torquay now on the attack again. Randall whips it across and there's Nelson just heading it over. I'm going to give the boys a bit of encouragement. Not that I think it's going to matter. Hall now passes it back. Torquay just knocking it around us. Kerr again. Hall backwards. All the way over the top. And Waters is offside surely. Yeah he is. Good. I'll tell you what, I think it's the last half an hour. I think we're going to have to go away. I think we're going to have to uh, make some changes. I don't think anyone's going to stay fit. And I think it's going to have to be at the back. And put them on, swap them over. I mean, he's not even fully fit, do you know what I mean? Bentley's going to stay on because, well, he's not. Look at that. Form's not great there, is it? I'm going to take Bentley off in this one. Chamberlain's going to come on. I'm going to save my last one because I might change the tactic if we're still in this game. Keeper punches it away. Doolan now. Cleaver over the top. Chamberlain's in. But he can't get it down. And then I don't know what he was doing there. It's sort of like I'm, I've got a nosebleed. I don't know why I'm this far up the pitch against Torquay United. 20 minutes to go. It's a great ball over there. But it's just... Varn Vernie's just not used to the, like, running in behind he's normally over the top look at that from Walters and he should have scored should have buried us there's 15 minutes left I think I'm going to try I think I'm going to try it I mean we might as well we've come this far why not try why not try? I'm going to press him forward and attack, advanced forward. We're going to put a Chamberlain on attacking winger. Tebble's going to go into an inside forward on attack. And we'll put him on attack as well. Just going to have to see what happens. I'll give that five minutes. And then we will go attacking. And now... I don't know. I mean, one nil's not bad, is it? Let's be honest. Lynch now, Cleaver. Clock's running down. Vernie's in. He's gone round the keeper and he's put it wide. That was our chance. That was our chance. Oh. He done everything right. He went round the keeper and then just completely fluffed his lines. Well, it's been an emotional run, but that is the FA Cup done for this season. And I don't think 1-0, I don't think 1-0 against, well, National League Torquay is that bad. Oh, Vernie. Why didn't you put that in in the last minute, son? Never mind, eh? Never mind. I mean, we got eight and a half grand for losing. What does that put us into on the world well, prize money now? FA Cup prize money, £47,000 prize money. We are now near enough the half a million mark. Look at that. When I took over, look. 62000 was in the bank. August was two sixty, and then all the way up to 464 and now on 484,000 so the money's going to be there we just need 
I mean, this League Cup, I might focus on that now. We'll go for that and see what happens. But I'm probably not going to come back until a little bit later on. If we get to that Cup final, I'll come back. I'm going to play for a big chunk of games now and probably come back around March time just to keep you in line with the league and show you what's happening. So if you like that, please leave a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much for watching. Take care.